南アフリカでイギリスに対して人権を勝ち取ったガンディ祖国インドに帰りますがここでもイギリスの支配の影を垣間見ることになります14 India and England In 1915, Gandhi went back to India. He was famous for the great things he did in South Africa. It was at that time that people began to call him Mahatma. It means great soul, and only the greatest Hindu holy men were called Mahatma. People called Gandhi great soul, but he thought that all souls were the same and that no soul was greater than any other. Gandhi did not care about what people called him. He only wanted to help India. When Gandhi was born, India was a British colony. The first British people came to India in the 1600s, and some parts of the country became colonies in the 1700s. By the 1850s, most of the country was a colony. India was one of the British colonies. Oldest and most important colonies, but most Indian people were very, very poor, and much of India's money went to Britain. There were a lot of Indian people, but there were very few British. They used an idea called divide the rule to control the people. India was a country with both Hindus and Muslims, and often they did not like each other. There were also many other groups, and the British did their best to stop them all from joining together. The British were at the top of Indian society. There were the leaders, and many Indian people thought the British were better than they were. For many years, Gandhi believed this too. He was proud that India was part of Britain, and he did many things the British way. But now Gandhi was doing his best to bring the Indian people together and to help his country be free.